fatty acids. Who you calling fatty? Not only am I calling you fatty, I'm calling you non-essential and you essential. Who are you to decide who's essential? Yeah, I didn't decide who was essential, your body did. So an essential fatty acid is something that you have to eat or ingest or topically apply because your body can't make it. And that's why I'm calling you linoleic acid essential and you oleic acid non-essential. Let's talk some quick oil stats here. So, if you didn't know, linoleic acid also goes by omega-6. Oleic acid also goes by omega-9. Both of these fatty acids are unsaturated fats. Omega-9 is plentiful and abundant in your body. Omega-6 has to be ingested. The reason this pertains to skincare, because oils are composed of fatty acids. Oils that are high in linoleic acid tend to be very lightweight on the skin. Oils that are high in oleic acid tend to be very rich and velvety and heavy to the touch. I'm not going to list a bunch of oils here. I'll list some below in the description box because we got like other things we want to talk about. So when skincare formulators purchase an oil or make an oil, they tend to know the breakdown of fatty acids in the oil. Take a look at this one from Garden of Wisdom on mac nut oil. As you can see, mac nut oil is high in oleic acid, 53.8%, and very low in linoleic acid, 1.8%. Let's look at another one, maracuja oil. Maracuja oil is high in linoleic acid, 77%, and low in oleic acid, 10 to 22%. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of fatty acids that compose oils, but we're not going to spend a ton of time on that because what you generally hear and what you probably think you already know that I'm going to say, which I am going to say, so you were right, is that oily and sensitive skin may benefit from oils higher in linoleic acid and that dry and mature skin may benefit from oils higher in oleic acid. Now, since this is fun Fast Facts Friday, of course I had to go looking for scientific studies that backed this up. One of the studies I found was a theory proposed in 1986 that people with acne prone skin tend to have lower levels of linoleic acid in the stratum corneum. I found a study done in 1998 that showed that applying linoleic acid to the skin helped reduce comiodones. So there you go. People with oily skin may benefit from oils higher in linoleic acid. Now you're saying that came out in 1998. Wasn't there anything more recent? Well, I did find this study from 2016. However, when they talked about linoleic acid in relation to acne, they cited this study back from 1998. So I don't know if there's anything more recent. We'll call it a common theory. One of the other things that I've seen repeated frequently was that people that are deficient in linoleic acid will use oleic acid to compose their sebum and that can make sebum that is very sticky and may contribute to comiodones or acne. However, I couldn't find anything that backed that up that showed the metabolic pathway of that. It might be out there, but I couldn't find it. So for all intents and purposes, there's that. It is a very commonly repeated piece of information that oily skins might not like oils that are high in oleic acid, but I just couldn't find anything to back that up. So take it with a grain of salt. When you read that, I can't list it as a fact. Okay, so let's talk about another interesting study that I found, and it's called Studying the Penetration of Fatty Acids into Human Skin. Did you know that fatty acids are classified as chemical penetration enhancers? So in this study, basically, they took an antifungal medication and they attached it to these fatty acids to see if they could increase absorption into the stratum corneum. And in doing so, they were actually looking at the different oils. So here are the stats of absorption. I find it pretty interesting. Oleic acid tops out on top, followed by linoleic acid. So that brings up an interesting point. I 
I like to point out and I still don't feel like I've gotten anyone to give me a very good answer and that is that oils are being absorbed into the skin and so that on a day-to-day -day basis they might help with long-term hydration for dry skin but on a day-to-day -day basis I don't believe they are hydrating to dry skin. Now for people with acne prone skin since you already are overproducing sebum oils might be all that you need and that's just a little tangent that I like to go on on a theory I'm building support for in how plant oils are not hydrating <laughs> now let's get to the point shall we what oil should you be using on your face the first thing that I like to point out is that what are you drawn to because I myself have dry skin and I've always hands down been drawn to fatty oils that are high in oleic acid macadamia nut, olive oil argon oil marula oil I feel those oils and my skin just sings so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what oil might be right for your skin type because and I know I don't give a lot of skincare advice and that's something I wanted to mention is I'm not going to give a lot of skincare advice in these videos um, because I truly believe it's just way more multifactorial than just applying a set of rules to everyone. I don't know where you live. I don't know what products you've been using. I don't know what your water's like. I don't know what your diet's like. I don't know what your climate's like. I don't know what your stress level is like. So it's very difficult for me to give any skincare advice. The only expertise that I have is my own skin. My own dry, mature, sun-exposed, dehydrated skin but I will offer this advice when experimenting with plant oils try to start with the most simple ones you can find take a look at this serum by the granola goat it's just marula oil and German chamomile essential oil it is very straightforward you are going to know whether or not you like oils high in oleic acid if you like marula oil. So then when you go on to looking at more complicated blended products, you're really able to look at it and say, okay, I think I know I'm gonna like this product. Take the Leilani Bless Balm. It is based in argon oil, it contains moringa oil, marula oil. Those are all oils high in oleic acid. I was fairly certain that my skin would love that product because of those things, and it does. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm not sure what next week's gonna be, but it'll be great, and I'll see you then. Bye.